Hello friends, it's Nomad Brad coming to you from my box truck. And today we're gonna get back to working on the van, try to whip this thing into shape. I got a couple cool projects I'm working on. I'll show you what we got. So I ordered this dash cam uh, to mount up on the windshield of the van and I'm gonna be using this for making videos. Uh, the cool thing about it is it has two lenses on it. It has a front facing lens that will show my driver's view and then also it has a rear facing lens which will show me and it has speakers built in so this should be a really great way for me to capture some good footage while i'm driving and not have to fumble around with the gopro so super excited to install this and then additionally what we're going to do today is replace the temperature sensor definitely got a little bit of work to do today let's go ahead and dive into it after replacing the thermostat and still having overheating issues, I figured the next step was to go ahead and replace the temperature sensor. Okay, so the sensor I need to replace is at the end of this uh, wire right here. It's over like underneath my thermostat housing almost, so I have to pull off the alternator. Man, I'll tell you guys what, I really did not think I was gonna become a mechanic. <laughs> I didn't think van life would turn me into a mechanic, but it sure has. Um, but you know, it's good to know how to do this stuff yourself because otherwise you're at the mercy of, you know, hiring an auto mechanic. And the one thing I've learned throughout my experience hiring mechanics is they are not necessarily any better than you. Like they might have a different skill set but they're definitely not 100% correct. They're not 100% competent. Now this isn't a bash on mechanics. This is for anybody who's a professional, but just keep that in mind. You know, mechanics make mistakes. Some mechanics aren't very good. And so you never know who you're gonna get. And, uh, and so it's nice to be able to just do this stuff yourself, save some money. And then also you gain some skills out of it. So you're, you know, you don't feel quite so helpless when situations like this arise. You can kind of know what's going on, do a little work yourself. And so uh, I like that. It's a good, good situation. So the alternator has been removed. <clears throat> and if I come down here, let me get my flashlight. That guy right there, that is my temperature sensor. As I loosened the temperature sensor from the engine block, it kind of just broke off in my hand. And then I pulled it out and upon closer inspection, I could see that the little plastic connector that basically attaches the metal part of the sensor onto the wiring harness was kind of broken and melted a little bit. So I'm hoping uh, that maybe that's an issue and could have been causing some false overheating readings. So now we, all we got to do is go ahead and plug the new one back in and then take this baby for a test drive. It's going right back down in here, right there. Let's see if you guys can see this. See. There we go. So there's the hole. It's going right in there and we'll thread it by hand hopefully we can thread it by hand most of the way and then just use a wrench for the last little bit because it's pretty tight down here pretty tight now that the temperature sensor is installed i'm ready to drive but first i want to go ahead and install the dash cam so i can also test that uh, on this little test drive. So I just pulled off the lower kick panel, pulled out some excess wiring. The U-Haul factory build has a little voice box that re plays a recorded message when your emergency brake is on. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect that box and then wire my dash cam right into those existing wires. So it should be a pretty straightforward little setup there to get this puppy all wired in. So here's the sticky base for the dash cam. It's got a peel off uh, protective cover and then like a double stick adhesive tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to stick it to this rear view mirror mount. But I, don't, I can't use a rear view mirror in here anyway. So I'm gonna try to stick it right on top just like that. And then the uh, camera will just hang off the bottom. 
So here's what we got going on. The uh, I initially I initially bought this hard wire kit. It was 15 bucks, and this is to wire the dash cam directly into the electrical. However, once I opened the dash cam, I saw that it came with a cigarette lighter adapter and a USB. So I went ahead and just used one of these uh, female cigarette lighter type receptacles and then hardwired that directly in to this electrical that was previously powering the little voice box for my emergency brake uh, speaker that I just disconnected. So I had an extra power anyway, so I wired into that and that way I can return this hardwire kit, save 15 bucks and uh, it should all work the same. So we're out on the main streets got the iPhone connected, got the dash cam recording, recording back, recording forward, audio recording. I'm excited about this dash cam because it'll just help capture footage and I don't have to worry as much trying to hold the GoPro while I film, which is uh, distracting and slightly dangerous. Not, in my opinion, not super dangerous, but slightly dangerous and uh, so I'll be happy to not have to do that. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how the dash cam looks. It's obviously not quite as high of a resolution as the camera I use for filming, but it works. And the cool thing is even at night in the dark, it gets pretty good footage, a lot better than what my GoPro does. So the dash cam test went awesome, but unfortunately the van did overheat as soon as I hit the highway. So I figured it's time to call out a mobile mechanic and have him do a real diagnostic on this thing at 192 it's supposed to open up at 195 um, around there between nine one on the heater now so the, eight, the, the temperature the, the thermostat not, is not opening up yet and it's right here 205 so it should, even if you would have got the higher one which is 195 it would have opened up already but it hasn't opened up so it would be a, a bad thermostat either it's opening up too late but the fact that it, it reached 207 and it still didn't open up until I put the heater on. Yeah. So it would be a bad thermostat or just or it could be just defected or it's opening up later than it should. So today's the day I'm gonna change out this thermostat one more time. After talking with the mechanic Steven yesterday, he recommended installing a lower temperature stat. The old stat that I installed is I think 190 degrees. And so he recommended the lowest stat they make, which is 170 degrees. So that should help keep my overall operating temperatures down. And hopefully this one opens and closes properly. And so I won't have those random overheating issues. So we're gonna get after it and see if this solves my overheating problems, fingers crossed. Since I just installed new coolant about a month ago when I replaced the thermostat the first time, I decided I'm just gonna catch this in a clean bucket and go ahead and reuse it after I install the new thermostat. So here it is right here, the old thermostat with the uh, O-ring, the O-ring looks really good still. We won't have any problem reusing that piece. Man, this is my third time working on this portion of the engine in the last couple months. Once to replace the thermostat, once to do the temperature sensor just yesterday, and then again today to put in a new thermostat. So hopefully this takes care of the overheating. And now with the new thermostat installed, I'm ready for the test drive. And so I decided to hop in the van, get everything put away and ready for the road trip. You know, one thing about van life is when you're parked somewhere for a while, you end up kind of getting all your stuff out and filling the countertops. And then when it's time to drive away again, you got to put everything away, lock it down and get ready to go. So here's a little time lapse of what that looks like for me. Hopefully this takes care of it. Uh, I would really like for this problem to be resolved so I can go up to San Diego, Tiny Fest, do some California beach living. I would really like to do that here in a couple, couple months. So hopefully this resolves my overheating issues. We will find out. I'm happy to report that after I put in this new thermostat, Everything looks really good. I drove quite a while down the freeway, high speed, ran the air conditioner. Nothing I did made the van overheat. So I'm hoping this is it. I'm hoping we can head out to California. 
I'll let you know in the next video.